Hello family, it's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you the rest of September, big baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love. High fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. What's up, guys? How is September treating you? Are you starting to get some fall weather here in Houston? It's starting to get a little cooler, so it's nice. We're not like breaking out in sweats every time we walk to the car. And um, for all my Houstonians who are getting over our hurricane fiasco, I'm sending you lots of love as well as to everywhere else in the world who's trying to get back on their feet again. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so very much for being a part of this. Hit that like, that share, and subscribe, big baby, because if you like tarot, you like to laugh, you like to have a good time, then you're in the right place. And if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. What's up, fam? So, I'm not an astrologer. I'd like to leave that to the astrologers like Astro Maggi. Y'all should go follow her on Instagram. Now, let's talk about a little bit of a recap of what might have been going on for you, okay? So, on the 10th of September, right? We're going to finish out September. We're going to go backwards. Venus is into, went into Scorpio. That is kind of heightening that, that desire to want to connect, the desire to want to make changes in your life, whether they're spiritual changes, emotional, relationship changes, but changes are on the horizon okay now on the 20th full moon in Pisces 28 degrees 28 comes down to the number 10 10 comes down to a 1 we are finishing cycles we are moving forward and we are using our feet because Pisces rules the feet to get things moving and grooving okay this energy is going to be a very beautiful energy remember I do a lot of lives on Instagram so go ahead and Follow me on Instagram at Ariana Luciano so that if you can catch the live on there because we did a live for the new moon and it was really, really interesting. Now, on the 22nd, happy birthday, Libras. All right, Virgos, go sit down. All right, ain't your turn no more. <laughs> we talking to the Libras in the house and I want to make a special shout out to one of my most favorite Libras, my niece, my boo bear. Happy birthday, I love you so very much. Now, on the 26th, this is a big time because right now you could be feeling the momentum building up. We are right now currently in what is known as the Mercury retrograde shadow. This is not boom, boom, boom. No, this is kind of like climatics, you know, like climax, I don't even know what I'm saying. Climax, okay, the climax, all right? We're moving and grooving, we're getting to the right spot, but things are starting to build up. We want clarity, we want things to be fair. It's happening in the sign of Libra. Libra rules, relationships it rules being fair about things think about the justice card now this is going to be happening in that 25 degrees of libra let's look at the number 25 25 comes down to a seven the seventh house rules our relationships and seven is also a divine number this is a wonderful time to reevaluate reorganize re redo replan re say whatever we need to say to make things right between us and our loved ones or people that we are in business with this is a beautiful energy guys don't always think just because it's mercury retrograde that it could affect you in a negative way that's why it's important to know your chart you might have been born during a retrograde and so like you like groove through these retrogrades you're like communication what no i like it so this is just a time to re re refirm readdress um and redirect our energies in a much more calmer way since we are dealing with the sign of a libra so the way that these reads are going to go, we're going to start with earth, no, air, sorry, earth, air, earth, fire, and water. They're all time stamped. Click the links below, okay? Also, if you want to book a reading with me, you can go ahead and click the link at Ariana Luciano on my link tree. Remember, I am not in your DMs. I am not going to message you. I am not going to tell you that I see something for you. And if I ever do that, it's for free, okay? I am not going to be charging you. The only way to book a reading with me, the only way to communicate with me is through my link tree and through my Instagram and I only have one Instagram okay and it's the one linked down below so let's jump into these reads and I'm so excited to see you guys this is gonna be a lot of fun I have new cards too Ooh, new cards thanks to my boo Erica I love you thank you for all the birthday gifts that I got my necklace is a birthday gift from my beautiful friend Denise and then whoo I got new cards I have all kinds of things I'm learning Lenormand guys it's gonna be beautiful so are you ready because we're about to have some fun 
Hello, air signs, Gemini, Gemini. How you doing? You little cutie patootie over there. Libra, happy birthday, big baby. Call me, call me Libra, we can celebrate. I'm great with birthday cakes, birthday parties. I'm super fun, you can book me. I'll do readings at your party. You can buy me shots, we can dance all night. We'll have a blast, okay? And uh, just call me, cause I like to celebrate Libra and y'all are really cute and pretty. I love Libras, they're so aesthetic. And I wanna also make a special shout out. I said it to my niece, I have a lot of Libra friends. My friend Athena and my beautiful, beautiful friend Kayona, and I know I can't name all of you guys, but these are very special people to me. So happy birthday, Libras. All right, now, Aquarius. Ah, ah, Aquarius, that's the order we're gonna go in. We're gonna start off with a very generalized read, a pick a card, and then we're gonna break it down into the signs. Remember, listen to the general, it kinda helps, okay? It'll help you process the week. I'll say when I show y'all my cute little mug. Look at this. Look at this. I went to the 99 cent store because I love that store and during Halloween. And I saw this and I, I couldn't leave it because it's so cute. And I absolutely love it. And I think it just looks, looks smashing, dear. I love it. Anyways. And again, I am using a new deck gifted to me by my beautiful friend Erica, the Modern Witch Tarot deck. I am super excited. I've been seeing it all over. I've been wanting it. And I, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, I really want that. And then you put it to the side. Yeah. So let's jump into this. You start off with your Akashic records being that of wishes fulfilled. Okay, air signs. You're starting things up. You're making You're making things happen. I also feel like you're manifesting some things financially, emotionally, and spiritually, and whatever it is that you've been really working on, it's coming to the forefront, especially in the fifth house. And the fifth house is ruled by Leo, so you could either be dealing with a Leo, or you're dealing with things that have to do with gambling, taking a chance, romance, ew, bouncing that ass. No, I'm just playing, not bouncing that ass, but you know, having a great time. But it's a lot of fun going on for you. However, the planet that wants to come in and make you like, take note and take action, you know, like pay attention as the planet of Saturn. Saturn, look at where Saturn falls in your chart. What is Saturn trying to teach you during the last few uh, weeks of September? They want you to pay attention to what to be concerned about, how to move forward and what to do in order to move forward. I feel like there's a lot about being focused on your manifestation, your goals and what you want, okay? And then you have this beautiful energy of the cheetah, okay? No, you're not a cheater, but you know, cheetah, stay focused, boo, okay? Be clear about your goals, stay focused is move quickly you want to achieve these goals you want to make things happen the other thing about the cheetah is like you have to think about how a cheetah like you know i watch a lot of animal plenty y'all I, I do i love animals anyways that's how i learned how to read cards was through animals um i started studying the animals and then i got into cards so you think about like how a cheetah stalks its prey and then it knows the right time to go for it. And that's how you should be about your goals, the way that you want to move forward in the world. Okay. And then you have the beautiful energy of the Boji stone. And this is considered an expression of the humanity in rock form. Okay. They have significant healing properties and can be used to balance your energies. It helps you with your polarity, with grounding and releasing negative vibes, patterns, thoughts, actions, Okay, it gets rid of that stuff. Now, it helps you have a deeper understanding of your identity. Who are you, air sign, and what are you about? Now, on a physical level, it's about balancing the natural bodies, the energies, and it encourages you to promote self-healing. Now, on a spiritual level, it's asking you to balance of the feminine and masculine is required in your life. Work with the female and male energies to see where there are blocks and inequalities within you. So it's like, where are you kind of putting a stop to things? Where are you making things not happen for yourself, okay? So we are going to be using my fave. Oh wait, I gotta do pick a card, my bad. My, my bad guys, my bad, I get excited. Pick a card, Sacred Bee deck. Thank you, Mona, so much for the Sacred Bee deck. I absolutely love it, and I'm still learning it. So, are you ready? Think of a yes or no question. Ooh, I love this card. I haven't seen this one in a minute. Okay, think of a yes or no question. And I'm going to tell you what I'm feeling, okay? Someone else might say it's something else, but this is what I'm feeling, so just think about the question, okay? If, well, not if. So, for card number one... 
I'm going to get, it's a no, but it's a blessing in disguise. It's the five of cups. Look at this vulture. Y'all know I love the vulture, right? It's like my favorite bird. I know. I know. Crazy. Anyways, this is telling you transformative situations. You see how he has got his three, his little hands on those three cups and those two fail. I feel like something was removed out of your life, but you have two cups. You still have love. You still have opportunity. You have still things to, to blossom. The other thing about the vulture's energy is you have to think about this. This is a transmuter of energy. It can take something that is dead and decaying and turn it into life. And that's what you're going to do with this situation. And if you picked card number two, that's you, big baby, the queen. Is this the queen? Queen of swords vibe going on. And this is definitely a hell yes. Cut through the bullshit. Make sure things are making sense to you. Be strong. Don't let other people stir you or make you think something else. And go for the gold. Okay? Go for your dreams. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. We are going to do a general read. And we are starting off with our beautiful Babylonian tarot, okay? Yeah, because it's my fave, guys. It's my freaking fave is what I learned to read with. So we have like a nightmare situation. Maybe you feel attacked. Maybe you feel mentally attacked. And the Four of Cups reverses. You're like tired of doing this mind game, mind trickery, mind fuckery, whatever you want to call this. This is not for children, okay? Now, this Four of Cups reverse is signifying something new and exciting wants to come to the forefront for you, air sign. And I kind of feel like if you could get out of your head, remember the vulture, the lion, and the nine of cups, we're dealing with Leo energy, big cheetah energy, right? We want our wishes fulfilled and Saturn's trying to tell you like hey you got to be realistic you got to put things in order you know you can't build a house without supplies you have to have a plan where do you plan to start and how do you plan to move forward and balancing the way that you choose to move forward okay so let's give it one more shuffle all right bro what's the, what's the, okay. all right here we go Gemini Aquarius, oh Aquarius, you're gonna pull it out at the end of the week, oh. Overall energy, it's a damn dirty victory, guys. We are moving, grooving, six of wands. We got it. There's a lot of fiery energy coming in for y'all, so I feel like either you're dealing with a fire sign or you are utilizing the fire within you to make things happen. Okay, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. There's a lot of changes coming in. It's gonna be very important for you not to neglect do not neglect yourself, your emotions and your feelings, because here's that nine of swords again. We're still beating ourselves up, right? But there is a victory. If you look at what's really going on, if you really look at it, the chariot's like, look, you have to go back to what you neglected. So you might have made a decision, air sign, where you neglected your emotions because you went more logically, and now your emotions are like, hey, homie, can I come in? And you're like, ah, I'm not ready to deal with this. But there is going to be a big shift and a change coming in for you because of the death card. This this is that transformative energy that's coming through. Now, I do think that with the Mercury retrograde that's going to be happening, that's already in shadow, you might be thinking about a situation, a, a relationship, a business deal, something that didn't go as planned. And you're like, how could I do that differently? What could I have done differently to have a better outcome? Okay. Now, the Eight of Swords reverse. I feel like you are freeing yourself up. You're letting things go and you're moving forward. You're dropping your burdens. You're dropping like egotistical views. And you're ready to communicate. You want to start over with Genesis. Okay. You want to be starting something. You want to make some peace, baby. Or you want a peace. What's going on, air sign? You want some peace in this situation this is a two of swords but I feel like this is going to be a situation where you're going to have to put it all on the table like you're going to have to put it all down especially if you're dealing with empress vibes okay you're dealing with motherly vibes or you're dealing with a woman or an energy just a feminine energy that knows their energy and they know their power they know who they are and if you approach that situation with um, honesty putting it all on the table you know your cards are on the table as they say there is a damn dirty victory now you have the major victory with the um, chariot and then you have the minor with the six of wands so this is like a win-win situation it's a very beautiful situation so that's what I have for you overall for the rest of um September I wanted to say August but we are going to jump into our beautiful beautiful Gemini okay Gemini, Gemini, I don't know why like, I have like this 80s vibe for you right now, like 80s, early 90s vibe music, like having fun, enjoying yourself. 
I feel like you should listen to more music. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like Gemini, you need to take a damn dirty break. So I have the Ten of Wands coming in for you. This is starting off your week. Remember, it's a victory, but it's been a hard and long road for you to get to where you're going. Again, Leo-ish kind of energy. Penis of a snake. Ow. Okay. But it's a heavy burden to carry. It's a heavy burden to carry, they say. Now, the Eight of Wands reverse. This situation right here is like maybe miscommunication. I also think with the Eight of Wands being in reverse, there might be a lot of communication from people in your past or you wanting to reach out to people in your past, okay? Because of the retrograde. Now, just because I say people from your past, they don't have to be lovers. It could be family members. It could be friends. But there's a sense of a lot of miscommunication and it's weighing on you, which makes you feel like maybe short changed at the end of the month like you're like oh remember mercury rules you so you're you're really feeling this energy okay so let's do a little pick a card why do we have the ten of wands going on here why is the ten of wands here for our beautiful Gemini. Now, you want to embody that cheetah energy that I was talking about at the beginning of the video as you move through these okay so let's see here card number one card number two if you pick card number one the ten of wands is telling you you need a strategy you need to figure things out friend you need to know what the hell to do when to do it and how to do it stop going into things like willy-nilly and not really paying attention to things October 21st could be a very important date for you as you're trying to strategize you're really trying to figure things out and it says journal and log with a feather on it some of y'all have been wondering if your ancestors are near or an angel is near you're gonna find that feather and for others this is about you really doing something called automatic writing okay where you just let your energy just start flowing you just start writing you just start doing things or automatic reading where you open up your favorite book and you just say what is my message and then bam that's your message that's what your guides are trying to tell you but you have to have a strategy in moving forward now the reason why this feels overwhelming and Pazuzu is a winged demon right but however Pazuzu is the protector of the unborn you might have this plan this um now I want to say get rich get rich quick scheme but that's not it you have this desire to build something new and create and that's what you need to do you need to move forward with that all right now okay card number two you're just a what the heck oh it's like what is that i think someone's drilling outside which i don't know why and <laughs> it scared me i was like what is that so card number two you damn dirty you got this okay you have got it in the bag this is a win-win situation you have the victory you are golden you are moving forward and I kind of feel like that's a heavy burden because if you think about it sometimes when you're coming out on top or you're winning or you've got a lot of good things going for you people get a little bit haterish and they get jealous and that's okay that's okay if you can learn to stand in your power okay so let's start to clarify we're gonna clarify with the modern witch tarot okay what does this Ten of Wands really want Gemini to know? So we have the King of Pentacles coming in for you, okay? Very strong energy, and I feel like there is a reward. There's something about you getting some kind of recognition, being well-known, okay, as you move forward. I really love these cards. Now, look, here it is. The Eight of Wands, the Nine of Swords with the Seven of Swords. It's a nightmare because you don't even know who to tell anymore. Like you're afraid that if you tell everybody like how great things are going for you or how much better your life is, they're going to send you like what is known as um, evil eye or negativity or just like that fake. Oh, that's great. Yeah, OK, well, keep that to yourself, bro. Like we don't want that. Five of Pentacles definitely has a message for you because here's the five of Pentacles again. Some of y'all feel like you're being left out in the cold by family members, friends, you know, people aren't trying to rise to the next level with you I apologize if you can hear this man sawing over here I don't understand why so let's move forward five of Pentacles wants you to know judgment you have to make this decision there is a major decision at the end of the month and look the wheel of fortune is coming through for you I'm reading them all upright just just for shits and giggles you know just for fun the three of wands is you looking towards the horizon you looking towards that decision you made like you're not you're you got your back to the things that no longer are working for you because you made that choice to move forward with the wheel now the five of Pentacles 
and this is a vibe that I'm getting just from your cards, right? What I'm looking at is a situation where you did what you needed to do, Gemini, to get ahead, right? You did what you had to do. You made your plan. You did the work and, and you love what you do. Now, there is something coming in about people not celebrating your, your success. Like you, and you don't understand why it is. And there's a lot of uh, Taurus energy because I have the bull up here and then I have the bull of heaven over here, right? There's a lot with the Taurus energy coming in. You could be dealing with the sign of Taurus or this is for you to pay attention to what do you have going on in your house of Taurus oh my gosh I swear these neighbors they just have no respect for nobody okay so stand in your power la feminista so you have this coming in by the nine of swords and the seven of swords that's you standing up for yourself and saying you know what i did the work i did what i had to do i'm sorry that you don't okay i'm sorry that you didn't get this but not okay the thing is sometimes like you might have a friend who loves you right they absolutely adore you gemini but you're very successful right now and they're not and they're not seeing that they're not really full heartedly saying congratulations. I'm really happy for you. It's like, oh, you got that too? Nice. So it's like you really having to stand in your power, be who you are, and stop making yourself so freaking small, Gemini. You don't have to make yourself small. You don't have to hold the whole world on your shoulders. You're moving forward. You're standing in a place of power, and you're owning it. You are really owning this power, and it's a beautiful energy. King of Pentacles, what do you have for us? King of Pentacles, what do you want them to know? Some of y'all might be getting a raise, something like that's coming through. Yeah, look, actually me, okay? There's more money coming in. And I'm going to say be very careful who you tell how much money you're making, okay? With judgment and the Wheel of Fortune at the end of the month, with the Three of Wands, there is a lot of victory coming in for you. So don't, don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid of that. That's some beautiful energy, you know? You might just have to be careful who you tell with that Nine of Swords and Seven of Swords. Like, it's... It's a nightmare that if you tell these people, they're not going to celebrate you. Boo. Let's look at your finances. So we have here the Queen of Coins and the Patriarch. Again, Venus. I would say Venus. Um, Taurus energy, right? But I feel like your boss is taking note. There's someone in power really taking note of you. You have the King and the Queen of Pentacles now in your read. So I feel like financially things are moving into a better place for you. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulations. Let's look at your magic for the full moon magic for the full moon magic for the full moon clarity during this full moon this time for you to really work on clarifying situations clarifying communication in order to move forward and finding the truth so i would say with this full moon in pisces and this uh, mercury retrograde finding clarity and communication and also finding who you really are and finding out that maybe not everybody around you is really for you gemini all right now that is for sun moon and rising however let's look at your self-care gemini what is gemini self-care independence i-n-d-e-p-e-n-d-e-n-t do you know what i mean standing up for yourself you're getting the clarity you're finding things out but you're also getting very grounded because of all this red okay so really focusing on that root chakra now the favorite time for everybody is that of love so let's look at our love situation let's look at gemini's love what does gemini need to know about love okay we have here at the bottom of the deck the hangman okay i'm gonna read them all upright here we go it's a victory we're moving forward some of you are traveling to go see somebody six of wands lots of travel going on to see family there is something about a reconnection of the family making things feel good again and also giving in to your emotions like allowing things to really just happen you're no longer forcing a situation okay let's look at your sexy time i really wish they would stop and here we have the seven of wands. But I feel like with the seven of wands, there's like almost like we're trying to celebrate something. We need to talk more, okay, nine of wands, to get to the ten of pentacles. So here, 
there has to be this like I want to see Gemini if you meet somebody don't jump into the bed so fast like this is about really getting to know them really I feel like you're gonna have like a like a connection I'm not gonna say twin flame or anything like this is a strong connection with communication it's like mentally being into somebody and then it's physical as opposed to it being physical and then mental like we we got to kind of change that up we really need to get to know who we're sharing our energy with because I think what you're gonna find out and some of y'all might be meeting two people and there's somebody who's going through a move there's a move also going on and I feel like some of y'all are involved with someone who you're not really feeling them very well physically you are but maybe Maybe communication wise it ain't all there you know you send a text two hours later two weeks later you get a response but then every time you meet each other it's a physical experience this is kind of saying Gemini you need someone who's going to connect with you on a very communication almost like they make love to your mind and then they make love to your body right and that's gonna make you feel whole you have the ten of Pentacles twice so there is a lot about family and there's a lot about finances coming through the double nine coming in that says to me there might be a big move coming to the forefront or you simply just moved recently so that's what I have for you my beautiful Gemini's I hope you have a beautiful beautiful full moon and if you're interested in a reading hit me up at Arena Luciano be blessed. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> let's try this again, guys. So the spirit guide that you have coming in for you comes in as the number 42. 42 coming in as a six, the six of cups and the six. This is making me think about really trusting your intuition. Things are not as they seem. seem. And when I'm looking at this, this talks about the Hindu goddess, okay? This Hindu goddess is telling you that your sincere devotion to something is not serving you well. Almost like you're looking at something with rose-colored glasses or you don't really want to see what's happening, what's real and what's happening in front of you. Blind faith and the wrong things can lead you down. Down the wrong path so her guidance is what if you let go and allow a higher force to guide you on the right places to be this is about allowing your higher power for things to move forward for your energy oh my bad <laughs> my phone was recording me your energy to lead you as opposed to what you see or what they're telling you and you're being you're being led by this energy by a spirit guide that's saying things are not as they seem so someone is telling you something and it's not setting well with your spirit it doesn't feel right it's because it's not right okay which leads you to the king of wands energy of lighting that that candle or lighting that um, that torch or that beam that needs to shed light on what needs to be seen right we need to make sure that we're being honest and true not only with others but with ourselves Libra because it almost feels like you're glorifying a situation or making something seem better than what it was when you're reliving it in your mind okay so let's go back up to the six of cups right here some of y'all have a new love coming in also because of the triple six and it's more likely a fire sign because I know some of y'all are like I hate fire signs I'm a fire sign I'm pretty freaking awesome okay <laughs> all right Libra gosh let's see what's going on six of cups with card number one or card number two so what is gonna help you move forward to make that decision with the seven of cups so that you can get to that damn dirty ten of cups boo so if you pick card number one you have the energy of the door to spirit and so this is about really going into prayer going into meditation 32 comes down to the number five five is significant of change making things happen it's time to move and groove my friend you've got to make it happen and I feel like the doors to spirit is open it's gonna be open through prayer meditation journaling um, music and it's about tapping into a higher power okay now if you pick card number two you also have a door boo boo it's door to value this is your money this is your worth what is your value what do you really find value in and I feel like in order to move towards that place of abundance of love and abundance of money we've got to open the door we've got to remember that there's no going back there's moving forward we can reassess we can readdress we can reframe we can do whatever we need to but if we keep doing what we've always done we're gonna always get what we've always gotten so we're gonna be clarifying with this beautiful um, modern witch tarot six of cups wants to talk immediately look did I tell you you're going back to the five of cups you're trying to go backwards get your two cups boo boo and let's go okay get your keys boo let's open the door okay we ain't gotta go back no more but this is about like I want you to see how she's looking at the water and the way that there they are again guys I'm so sorry the way that they're working through this is simply like she's looking at it 
She's looking at what's going on and in the situation. I'm so sorry. Okay, Libra, we're gonna try it again. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's like super dark outside. And I don't understand why someone would be power drilling. However, the Six of Cups, she's looking at it. She's really sad. But here I have the Sun and the Ten of Cups right behind it and the Three of Pentacles. And I know that this is a very interesting combination just because, look, you got to work at it for it to work to get the, to get the satisfaction. But it's like allowing something to pass, allowing these emotions to pass because you're not wanting to see something for what it is. And, you know, I'm going to tell you just from past experience, the universe will make you see it. It will bring it to the forefront. It's not going to sugarcoat it, Libra. It doesn't matter if it's your birthday. It didn't matter for me. <laughs> I still found out. So with that being said, oh, look, this car's not even supposed to be in here. It says you are a badass being full of life, love and possibilities through this deck. May you find a path to your best self. It's not even supposed to be in there, but hey, I think that's a message for somebody. So what's coming out here is the eight of pentacles. So I feel like, you know, Wiley E. Coyote It's back to the drawing board. It's back to creating. It's back to going back to your craft, to your art, to what makes you happy again. Instead of focusing on that, those three cups that aren't working for you from the five of cups like you're like no look I got all this going on for me I have the door to value the door to spirit I am going to combine those two and I'm going to move forward that brings us to this king of wands okay now at the bottom of the deck I have the four of wands looking at me it looks like an 11 11 so I do feel like you might be seeing seeing that number 11 11 just to give you clues on how to move forward the eight of pentacles I like how she's like working on her pentacle game like she's working on something okay Libra get to work okay Let's see, what does this king want Libra to know? Look, some of y'all are dealing with that of the sun, okay? So the hermit, the hermit is coming in for you. And look, she's here, she's working hard on something. She's getting the information that the gods are telling her, that the guides are telling her. And then she's like, you know what? I'm gonna go reflect. I've had enough, that's the hermit card. She's like, I've had enough. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. I know what's been hidden from me. I feel, Libra, that something's been really hidden from you. And either a situation at work or in love because of the lovers here. And some of y'all are dealing with the sign of Gemini also, where you have a lot of Gemini energy because this is a bunch of Gemini energy right here. Now, there's some dealing with Leo and Sag. I feel that very strongly because I saw a Sag card there also. But I feel like in this situation, like where we're trying to go, once we get the information, once we get the knowledge that we need, Libra, and things are being clarified and cleared for us, we're able, we're able to move forward. And you're like, you know what? Get your swords. I'm going to get mine. And I'm out the door. What is that song? Pick up your feelings. <laughs> You need to pick up your feelings. You need to, hey, come pick this shit up because I don't want it anymore. I know the truth. I know my worth. I know what I'm about. I know where I'm going. And I know who I am. And I feel like this clarification, some of y'all are going to get this on a trip, okay? <laughs> where this fire sign is a damn dirty trip. One of the two, right? So let's get a little bit more confirmation here. Imagine, okay? And in this card, it's that new moon energy. And you're roping in the moon. You're roping in your hopes, your dreams, and your wishes. And you're no longer sitting there like an armchair astronaut, like the book says in there. And you're not waiting for things to happen anymore. You're making it happen, Libra. You're like, look, I really want this. I really want this. Some of y'all are going to find something out through an email, a text message, something like that. And you're going to be like, you know what? I don't like that. I don't like it and I'm going to move forward and do what I need to do. This is really beautiful energy once you push through what's coming in, okay? Now, a lot of people like to think Mercury retrograde is like when all your exes come back. Yeah, they might come back, but it doesn't mean you have to take them back. This could be that time or that clarification that you needed to see things in a different perspective, right? Now, this could also be a work project coming back to you or something that you wanted to do in the past that you didn't fully accomplish and now you have now you figured out you were in your own way you are in your own way and you're ready to move forward or whoever was trying to block you you're done and I like that you left those two swords there you're like mm, I got the rest okay I know my worth I know where I'm going and I know what I'm about 
So this is about really holding in your mind's eye what it is that you truly want. I do feel like the color yellow is going to be very important for you this week, working with your solar plexus, having that confidence to move forward. Some of y'all will be meeting somebody this month, possibly a Leo or a Gemini, Sagittarius energy coming through too, that's going to really spark your interest and get you excited about love again. Remember, remove the rose-colored glasses. Start looking at things for what they really are so that you can move forward. What is Parvati really wanting them to see? What is the message? Your throat chakra. Speak up, boo-boo. Speak up for what you want. Speak your truth. Don't be afraid to say, that's not how I see it. I don't see it like that. I don't believe that so that you can move forward. Let's get some clues. Let's get some clues here on what this king of wands wants you to know about them. Oh, somebody's being a little prickly. They're being a dick card. Somebody might be getting an interesting photo <laughs> or sending one. Be very careful. But there's a situation where you've been kind of being screwed around or dicked around, as they say. And when you're like, you're at the drawing board and you're like figuring things out, you're like, wait, wait, what in one? Don't make 22. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, you're not even making sense anymore. And you're, and you figured it out and you're cutting it off. And some of you are going to find out after a trip, okay? I really feel like there's something about a trip coming in for you. What card is this? Oh, I don't even belong over there. Okay, now, what is your self-care? Look, opportunity. Release your ties to the past. Now, if that isn't a clue with the Six of Cups reversed, release it. It's almost like, you know what? If it's not working, if it's not working, and it's not benefiting anyone involved, then guess what? Bye. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay? Because you're moving forward and you're ready to do big things. I also feel like there's going to be an opportunity for you through work or creativity. All right. Finances. What's coming in for finances? So, offer with the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We got an offer coming in from the King of Staffs, which is the King of Swords. And you're climbing the ladder. Some of y'all are going to get a promotion, recommendation at work. You're moving up. You might just get asked to do something special. But it's something very, very beautiful so that you can move forward and become who it is that you really are. This is also about you getting on a budget, boo. Okay? You got you to budget your money, baby. Libra, take care of your money. Okay? I'm y'all crazy with it. Okay, let's look at your magic for the full moon. Magic for the full moon. Compassion. And I want to say compassion starts at home. Work on your home. Work on your heart. Work on you. Have compassion for yourself from going from that six of cups back to reminiscing with the five of cups and say, you know what? It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be upset. Grief doesn't go in order. Just because someone leaves you, uh, whether it's a death, a breakup, a divorce, it doesn't heal in sections and levels and is done. Healing is not linear. And that is something we have to learn to accept. So have compassion for yourself as you're going through these stages of grief, going through these stages of change and be kind to yourself and during this full moon it might be about releasing some of the pain and and telling the universe I need help you know send me the guide send me the the intuition send me the peace I'm looking for all right so let's look at um your love let's come and get your love now let's see here I apologize because my voice is like a hot freaking mess um, I'm waiting to get some reports back on my throat, so as soon as I find out what's going on with all that stuff in there, maybe my voice will come back. So, let's see here. What do we got? What do we got here? The Queen of Wands here at the bottom. So, yes, some of y'all are dealing with a fire sign. Five of Pentacles, that's, again, we feel like we're being shut out. We feel like something isn't going the way it should. Heartbreak. We want to get over this heartbreak, but there is like, what is going on? Are you like in love with someone who's not in love with you? Is this unrequited love? Are you not sharing your feelings? Is it time to open up your throat chakra? What is going on here? Because this Queen of Wands is like, what, what are we going to do, boo? And you're like, ah! I don't know. There's this energy for you, Libra, about really feeling like you're not getting what you deserve, okay? You're not happy in a situation. Not very happy cards. Let's look at sexy time, okay? <laughs> Maybe this is oh, sexy time and I was not any, any better. Okay. So, oh, I don't know what's sticky there. Let's get bottom energy is the six of wands, okay? Again, fiery energy coming through. What is that stickiness there? Anyways, 
The five of pentacles with the seven of swords. Look, feeling left out. Like, even though there's a partnership, there's no intimacy. Somebody is being a dick, like I said. Like, either it's you or them, but it's, it's breaking your heart. It's breaking your heart. The three of swords with the three of wands. Some of y'all are involved in, like, third-party situations or you have to be secretive, okay? And third-party doesn't mean that somebody's cheating. It could mean, like... You can't tell them, you can't be out free and open because if your uncle finds out or your aunt finds out or whatever happens, you know, we have to be hiding all the time. And because we have to be hiding, you're super mega stressed out because the tower is coming through. So I do feel like for some Libras, you're going to get some really intense news when it comes to your love life. There could be someone from the past or there could be a situation that comes back and triggers you to behave a certain way in your relationship. So if those things start to surface for you okay and and if this isn't your situation it's not your situation don't make it fit but for me what this is saying is don't let your past ruin your presence don't let the old story take over the new story you know and if you find yourself in this situation find out what you're truly devoted to because the devotion should be to you libra and i feel like you need to find someone who's gonna be on that ass okay they like that's my girl okay not like this well, I'm like, we're not even, we don't even talk anymore. I feel like we need Room 112 or something. I don't know. I feel like we need some 90s R&B hip hop or something because this is like not working. Something is not working. There is either a fixation on somebody in the past. We're really missing somebody. We're really sad that we're not moving as fast as we should. But the love life here, Libra, um, it's almost like we're so afraid that something is going to repeat or somebody is doing us wrong that we're unable able to enjoy the present moment okay so I'm gonna pull some extra guidance for you because that's a really heavy message and I don't I don't want to leave you like that what is something Libra can do to work through this situation as they're working through their love life what does Libra need to know the thinking man so I feel like this is gonna take a lot of thought um, Libra, you have Mercury retrograde in your sign, so this is a situation of you really working on that throat. Speak up for what it is that you want. Let things be known. Don't, don't try to be the peacemaker here. If it doesn't set right with your soul, it doesn't set right with your soul. But you feel like a little left out right now, love bug. You're feeling left out. You're feeling like it's not working. You're tired of hiding. You want something that you can, you can be out in the open and be happy about. And so that is just something to be aware of. Like I said, if this is not your situation, please do not try to make it fit. All right. Now, if you're interested in a reading, you can hit me up on my link tree or DM me at Ariana Luciano on Instagram. Be blessed, fam. Hello, Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if you're listening for love. How you doing, Aquarius? What's going on, Aquario? With your little sexy self over there. Winning, okay? You just winning everything. All I do is win, 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 okay? So, with that being said, you come into this week. I mean, I feel like you're feeling yourself. Like, you're like, look at me. I'm the damn dirty chief and emperor over here. I'm in control. I'm the boss hog. Everything is about you. You're moving with the full force, right? Right? But then we come in and it's like the nine of pentacles reverse. So I feel like be very aware where you're investing your time, your energy, your money, your well-being, because I feel like if when the nine of pentacles is reversed, you're either missing out on an opportunity within yourself or something to invest in. So takes you to the high priestess. So either you're dealing with a super intuitive individual or that's you. Right. And this is about you really following your intuition to get to where you're going. Now, you do have two lions in your reach with this Aries, this like um, powerhouse up here. So I will say possibly dealing with a fire sign. You could possibly be dealing with a fire sign or you're dealing with your fiery energy. All right. So let's do a little pick a car for this emperor. What's the emperor got for us? Oh, Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Okay. So either one you pick is going to be good. Card number one, deep breath. The emperor is telling you, Okay, 
There's a man with his heart in his hand. Ah, there's an offer. Either you're offering your heart or someone's offering their heart to you. And it is super hot and ready, okay? Like hot, fresh, and ready like Little Caesars. You're ready to go. Comes down to the number 45, which comes down to a nine. You are ready for this. You're like, you're like look, I really want to do this. I've, I've thought about it. I'm good, all right? Now, if you pick card number two, I'm telling you, either way you go, it's going to be good. You got the woman holding a coin. Okay, so this could be a job offer or going towards a business deal or maybe even reconciling with somebody, okay? But they got some coins, okay? So we, we, we're moving into a good situation. And with the six of wands and the 42 coming to a six, which is a double six, this is telling you, trust your intuition as you proceed. You know that there's something good. You know there's something there. All of that purple is also about you envisioning with your Anja, right? You want to see things. You want to see what's going on. On. Now I'm going to be a little nosy because I'm just, I'm nosy rosy, okay? And I kind of want to see a little clue with the man with the heart, L Twitter. So you could have met this person online, you could have, uh, and it comes up to the number 22, so it's like a master builder. It's someone you want to build with. This is somebody who is also a soulmate because it's the perico, it's the parrot, okay? And so this soulmate energy is like, Hello, can we talk? All right. And so you're ready to talk. They're ready to talk. It's a beautiful energy. 22 is a master number, comes down to a four. We're rebuilding that foundation. All right, woman holding a coin. What do we got here? The woman holding the coin, she she loves music, okay? First of all, she's like, hey, can we play? Hey, DJ, keep playing that song. But she knows who she is, okay? She knows what she's about, and she's not going to take juju beans, okay? Some of you are going to be calling up friends to go to brunch or calling up someone to hang out with because there's something to talk about. Okay, let's get into the nitty gritty Aquarius. This is a very interesting situation. What else does this emperor want us to know? Emperor, speak up for Aquarius. What does our beautiful Aquarius need to know? Something got to change, baby. Something has got to change. There has to be some form of a transformation. And you know, what's very interesting is like, you see the guy with the crown, like he got trampled. And Death said, I don't give a damn, okay? I don't care, but something's got to change. And they're asking for mercy. So I do believe that there's a situation where somebody is coming to ask for forgiveness or going to be asking for a change of status, okay? Something is coming to an end. <laughs> FX. Okay, all right. <laughs> Hi ho, silver away. Look at the horse's eye on here. He got the side eye. Aquarius. Look at that little side eye. Nine of Pentacles. What do you have for us, sweetheart? Ooh, this is interesting. Look. The king and the queen of swords just flew out. This is a divine pair. We have the man with the coin. I mean, the man with his heart and the queen with the coin. We have the king and the queen of swords. But they're not not—they're not even paying attention, okay? And remember, this guy lost his crown over here. Like, I don't know. Something's got to go, Aquarius. Something's got to go. Now, what's interesting is the king, the, the king got his shoe messed up. Oh, no, that was just, just I can't see. I put my glasses on. Sorry. The king is sitting there with butterflies. That's huge transformation. And the queen is like, I gives no fucks. No, I'm just playing. The queen is like, oh, what took you so long? So I feel like this is a situation that you're dragging out or they're dragging out. Or you feel like, God, dog, this situation is taking forever to be solved okay at the bottom of the deck we have the ace of pentacles the ace of wands the nine of wands it's like what are we there was a move involved it was a brand new beginning it did not happen it didn't happen the way it was supposed to happen aquarius what happened let's pull between the king and the queen what do we need to know the emperor who came between this situation now, this is very interesting because the emperor comes out between the man and the woman on top and the emperor is coming out here. So this is like similar to a third party or this is maybe work got in the way. Maybe your mind got in the way because Aries rules the head. But there's a situation of somebody getting in the way. Something got in the way and now we're unable to move forward in love. And look, the queen of wands and then the king of wands. So I do feel like there's a situation where like, Look, this is the vibe I'm getting. It was not supposed to be the way that it came out. I'm sorry about my throat. I, I'm like I told, I think I told Libra. 
I'm waiting for some doctor results from my throat to see what's going on there. So y'all send your prayers towards me. So if you see me drinking a lot of water or my voice going in and out, I'm not getting emotional. I'm just having a lot of um, issues with my throat. So send me lots of prayers, okay? Now, the King of Swords, the Emperor, the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, Reverse, Death, something has to change. We have to make a decision. The thing about the Emperor is the Emperor is just, he knows what he wants. So Aquarius, you need to know what you want. Is it, what is it that you want that you truly, truly want? Because I feel like this emperor is like, look, something has to change because the queen ain't listening. She don't care. That's the sad sign that she's doing. Okay. Again, this card just came out. Somebody was not very nice. Somebody was very prickly. You know, I always, my, um, maybe over financial issues. Okay. Um, but it wasn't a nice situation. And so in this situation, for this transformation to happen, is both parties have to be very honest about how they see this moving forward, okay? Because there is this energy that's coming in between that is like not working, okay? It's not working. And it's leading us to trust our intuition. So let's see what our intuition has for us, Aquarius. A judgment, there's judgment coming out and the ace of wands we have to decide on how we want to create okay the ace of wands for me makes me think about um the magic wand right the magic stick oh the magic stick okay i'll stop i'm gonna stop okay of course anyways there has to be a decision on how you want to proceed how do you want to move forward you know because you have you have to make a decision you know, you like they say, shit or get off the pot. There has to be a decision made and you're going to have to take control of it. Okay. You're going to have to take control of it. Look, the thinking man, I swear you're getting almost very similar cards to Libra. So if Libra is your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, you might want to go check out Libra. There is this situation. You've been thinking about it. You've been thinking about it. You've been dreaming about it. You're almost afraid to create this new beginning, but you know what? The universe is going to create it for you. I'm sorry. They're going to, it's just going to create it for you because you're taking too long. And so what's happening is like you're sitting in these thoughts like, should I do this? Should I not do this? Is it going to work? Is it, you know, is it going to work? And you're questioning where you're supposed to go. Marigold, celebrate your life by honoring sacred rituals. There's something about the color orange for you, really working with your sacral energy. Marigolds are really beautiful flowers to place on your altar. I do believe that there is a reconciliation. Flowers are needed. A peace offering is needed because I'm looking at this nine of wands and she ain't trying to open nothing up. She, mm -mm, not happening. So... There is a divine partnership, okay? There's a very strong partnership, the king and the queen, the, the man and the woman, and the emperor coming out twice is telling you to embody that power of the emperor, make those damn dirty decisions that you have to make, and move forward to your new beginning, whether it is to go back to something or to completely walk away, because there has to be a clear-cut decision, Aquarius. Okay, let's see your self-care, trust. Trust your decisions and march to the beat of your own heart. You know, sometimes you have to make this decision or these choices and they don't make any sense, right? And you're like, I don't even see this working. I don't even know how the hell this is going to work. But I'm going to do it anyways. And guess what happens? It works. Because sometimes what we try to make sense of in our mind, like that doesn't make sense in the spirit realm. It doesn't. Sometimes, you know, people will say, well, how did you do this? Because this doesn't make any sense. Why would you even try that? Why would you do that? And it's because your heart told you to do it. In this situation, logic is not going to rule. It is going to be your heart. And it is about the transformation of prickly energy to create the judgment to move things forward. And you're going to do it. And you're going to trust your intuition like the high priestess to make those transformations and move yourself to the next level. It's very beautiful, Aquarius. Let's look at your finances. What's, what's going on with your finances? Ah, so sorry. I'm about to make some tea. Okay. How about to spill some tea? Overall energy for you is the five of swords. Financially, things might have been a little bit rough. 
okay? Like we feel like we're not getting what we deserve. Almost like you're on house arrest and you're like having to do it all. You're like the, what is the jack of all trades, a master of none, right? But you can do these things. You don't need anybody's help, Aquarius. You are, you are the one man show, okay? You can do it. Don't hold yourself back from what you want to accomplish, all right? Let's look at your love life, Boo Bear. Let's see what's going on for our beautiful Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, what's in your love? Ooh, not too shabby. Okay, ah, Aquarius, look at you. Look at you with your beautiful energy. Okay, so we start off with the higher fin, right? Didn't take me to a higher love. You remember that song? Anyways, this this energy here is like a very elevated love. I want to say soulmate love. This is like a soul love, a deep down love you have for somebody, right? Could lead to marriage, whatever, you know, what a marriage of the soul. But it's about elevation, okay? Page of Wands, you want to throw your name in that hat. You want to grab whatever. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to do this. Could be with a fire sign. You have a lot of fiery energy nine of cups it's all you ever wished for but then you want to know what's even prettier the two of cups it could it could all be so simple but you rather make it hard in the words of lauren hill so i say to you this is a decision of throwing your passion where your heart is because that's what the wands are about and it leads to a very committed relationship for you like it does not have to be marriage but it's a very committed relationship where you feel heard where you feel seen where you feel connected because nine and two make 11 and 11 11 boo boo that's a special number okay now let's look at your sexy time just for fun just for fun Fun, Aquarius what's going on with the sexy time let's see here got the first card okay 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 bottom of the deck three of wands okay we could be celebrating it could all be so simple but you rather make it hard okay so let's see what we have here again judgment we have to make a decision they're all majors okay so this is a relationship that is a major life decision okay when the majors show up when i'm seeing the kings and the queens the man and the woman transformation emperor energy decisions 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 this is go time aquarius it's time to make some choices so you're hung up you have the hangman here okay the hangman over the page of wands so i feel like don't hang on to those words that need to be said do what needs to be done and there's a lot about with tying hand tying and that's a very sacred um ritual to connect people okay and fun okay nine of cups with judgment um the 20th might be very important for you on the full moon. I think something's going to, there's going to be like a light bulb that comes on for you, Aquarius, where you realize you had it all or you can have it all. And you are going to make the decisions and the choices to go get your nine cups, to go get your wish, because the two of cups with temperance is saying like you need to take your time okay you can't rush a good thing it's going to happen and this temperance like she's alchemy she's pouring her cup she's taking her time she is not even stressed out about what everybody else is doing because she's focused on herself and on the divine and so in this situation this is a very beautiful read for you and if you're not in a love partnership the way i would look at this is like look you need to put your passion and your finances together aquarius what do you love to do because that's going to lead you to the money and that's going to lead you to create the dream and the life that you want to create because it's a damn dirty victory my love bug so that's what i have for you if you're interested in a read you can hit me up at arena luciano at gmail.com or on the gram or you can just click on my link tree and book your session all right have a beautiful beautiful rest of september